Understanding, I'm at a standstill, a guide to English idioms. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of English idioms, with a focus on the phrase, I'm at a standstill. Understanding idioms can be tricky, but they're a vital part of mastering the language. Let's explore what this phrase means and how you can use it in everyday conversations. When someone says, I'm at a standstill, they're expressing that they or a situation is not moving forward or making any progress. It's like being stuck in one place without the ability to advance. This idiom is often used to describe situations in work, projects, negotiations, or even personal growth where there is no current movement or development. Understanding the origin of idioms can make them easier to remember. The phrase, at a standstill, likely comes from the literal meaning of the words. Stand, means to be in an upright position without moving, and, still, emphasizes the lack of motion. Together, they create a vivid image of complete inactivity or pause. To get a better grasp, let's look at some examples. In a project context, our team's work on the new app is at a standstill until we get more feedback from the test users. In personal growth, I feel like my learning in Spanish is at a standstill. I haven't improved much in the last few months. In negotiations, the salary negotiations are at a standstill. Neither side is willing to compromise. Using this phrase in various contexts can help convey a temporary halt or slowdown in progress, making your communication clearer and more nuanced. Knowing synonyms or related phrases can expand your vocabulary and allow you to express the same idea in different ways. Some synonyms for at a standstill include stalled, in a rut, not moving forward, at an impasse. Each of these can be used depending on the context and the exact nuance you wish to convey. We hope this exploration of I'm at a standstill has been enlightening. Idioms like this one add color and depth to our language, allowing us to express complex ideas in a few words. Remember, the key to mastering idioms is exposure and practice. Don't hesitate to use them in your conversations, and always keep an eye out for new ones to learn. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.